Here are the craziest food trends that have been happening. Number 11, Waffle Pops. When Waffle Pops first began appearing on Instagram feeds, there was this almost cartoonish element to them that didn't seem real. Yeah, they look delicious, but could such a beautiful treat actually exist in this crazy world? Yep, they're real, and people love them. Granted, they may cost you an extra trip to the dentist, but foodies everywhere appear to hype up this strange dessert on their Instagram accounts. Waffle Pops were recently made popular by a company in Irvine, California called Sweet Comforts. Basically, it's a freshly made waffle on a stick dipped in all kinds of adventurous cookie batters topped with a drizzle of your choice. You can take it with you as you inhale an obscene, although delicious, amount of sugar and carbs. It's like the ingenuity and appetite of a hyperactive seven-year-old without mom and dad to say no. Meets the business and tech-savvy millennial. This thing looks pretty insane, but it might be worth a try the next time you're in Irvine. Number 10, Black Tat Milkshakes. Any milkshake that's described as gravity-defying seems worth trying, right? This little work of delicious art was born in New York City at the Black Tap Burger and Beer. This milkshake was an instant hit on Instagram feeds as soon as people discovered it. The downside? They can cost up to 15 bucks and contain an astonishing 1,600 calories. The best part? You can get almost anything you want in it, including alcohol. Here's just one example of what we're dealing with here. There's this thing called the cookie shake. And yeah, it's pretty much a milkshake adorned with a whole lot of different cookies. There are also shakes with candy, pretzels, peanut butter, chocolate frosting, and almost anything else that a sweet tooth could come up with. Black Tap is sort of known for going a bit over the top with their food. With reputedly amazing craft burgers that cost up to $25, Chef Joe Isidori's restaurant has been awarded a Michelin Award thanks to his ingenuity. However, if you really want to try one of the milkshakes or burgers, you'll need to at least wait an hour in line, which in the grand scheme of things in the Big Apple really isn't that bad of a wait. Number 9. The Pancake Burger. A burger between two flapjacks? Sure, why not? This is America after all. In some places, such as the uh, Horny Ram in Manhattan, some brilliant chef will also add fried eggs and bacon into the mix. And then you have a burger that's perfect for brunch. When it comes to eating obscure foods, who better to turn to than food bloggers? According to the food blog Extra Crispy, this thing is a work of art that can't even be admired because you eat it so fast. According to these guys, the pancakes are light and fluffy because they're made with buttermilk but they're not too sweet, even if you dunk the whole burger in maple syrup. Although the biggest surprise to them is how well the pancakes held up to the cheeseburger, the syrup, and the yolky fried egg, the structural integrity of this pancake burger was sound. But apparently, it was so good that they didn't even give it a chance to get soggy. Even IHOP got in on the whole burger for breakfast kick with their cheeseburger omelet and pancakes. You know what? This burger actually sounds really good right now. Number eight, peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. Pickles are great in the right context, and peanut butter is an all-around popular topping. But peanut butter and pickles together? Really? People actually like this? In 2012, the New York Times described the pickle and peanut butter sandwich as a thrifty and unacknowledged American classic. Apparently, this little secret American pastime dates back to the Great Depression when people basically didn't have too much to work with. Back then, life pretty much sucked for most people in America and around the world, and people resorted to eating the bare basics. But from the great economic disaster emerged a new American classic. A bizarre, yet consistently well-liked sandwich. Today, most Americans thankfully no longer have to stand in long lines to wait to get bread and soup. However, there's a small group of people who still rally behind the peanut butter and pickle sandwich. The sandwich has maintained a steady internet presence with an almost cult-like following. Number 7. The Midas Touch While gold and silver are generally well-liked elements that often adorn jewelry or virtually everything in Trump Tower, Sometimes they serve another purpose. Although, for most of our existence, we've generally avoided eating gold, until now, because, yeah, you know, eh, I don't really know. A big trend that's currently going on is all these exotic desserts that now have gold or silver flakes in them. It just sounds odd and actually almost seems dangerous, but it's supposedly pretty good. And make no mistake, these flakes, leaves, or whatever are actually gold and silver, not something else made to look like it. But it seems weird, right? I mean, how can essentially eating metal be good for you? Well, according to health experts, both gold and silver are totally digestible, although they're not exactly an essential metals in our diet. If fancy desserts that cost a week's worth of groceries isn't your thing, check out the 
douche burger. It's got a beef patty, lobster, caviar, truffles, and barbecue sauce, all wrapped in six sheets of gold leaf, all for a hefty price of six hundred and sixty six dollars it's available on the 666 burger food truck in new york city where everything is expensive anyway number six oob when you first see it you might assume it's either play-doh or some sort of alien condiment used for some kind of mysterious space food but in fact oob is a type of edible yam and word on the street is that it's quite delicious as odd as it looks oob is a big hit with dessert lovers swiss rolls cookies cupcakes ice cream tarts or pancakes you name it Oob supposedly can make it better. While traditionally this is more common in places such as Sri Lanka, it's starting to catch on here in the US as well. Now it's all over Pinterest and foodie websites chronicle the best Oob-based recipes and it's popping up on restaurant menus left and right. Who would have ever thought a world-class dessert would come from a root vegetable? Number five, anything is a topping. In most cases, if you give a group of people a cheese pizza and a pepperoni pizza, they'll be more than cool with it. But over the years, we've started adding some pretty interesting yet awesome toppings such as pineapple. In fact, Hawaiian pizza has been a staple in the pizza world for quite some time now. Here are some other interesting pizza toppings. Mushroom Fontina with baked egg is allegedly pretty awesome. Then there's this BBQ chicken pizza craze that's been catching on for a few years now. Want pizza for breakfast? Maybe the bacon and egg pizza is the new edgy breakfast for you. Someone's put sweet potatoes on pizza before, and someone even came up with the idea to make chicken tikka masala into a pizza topping. Indian food on pizza? Count me in. In fact, pretty much anything you can think of as a pizza topping has made it on a pizza, including flaming hot cheeto. So yeah, while stalwarts such as pepperoni are still pretty amazing, there's a great big world of unexplored pizza out there. Number four, peanut butter hamburgers. It only makes sense that someone somewhere tried putting peanut butter on their burger. But what's sort of surprising is that it's actually supposed to be really good. It seems that virtually every reputable cooking website has a peanut butter recipe of some sort for a burger. Almost all of them have highly rated reviews. The Food Network recommends garlic, pepper, applewood smoked bacon, and a whole lot of cheese to go along with the peanut butter. Not only that, YouTube has plenty of how-to videos and lightning users on all the different types of peanut butter adorned burgers out there. Craft burger joints everywhere seem to be pushing the virtues of this future American classic. Is this something you would try? Number three, rainbow bagels. In April of 2016, the Washington Post took a break from reporting on an insane presidential election to dissect a much different story. The headline read, the most controversial bagel in Brooklyn. I mean, who knew any bagel could be controversial? They were reporting on the rainbow bagel. People wait in line for hours to get a taste of one of these bagels. The hashtag rainbow bagel began trending on social media. These odd treats were created by Scott Rosillo, who decided that tie-dyed bagels that looked like Play-Doh was a thing hipsters in Brooklyn would enjoy. And he was right. For more than 20 years, they've been a big hit. But then social media did that thing it often does where it can take something as innocuous as a baker experimenting with bagels and turn it into a huge sensation. People began to flood the hipster neighborhood of Williamsburg to try this interesting treat. Number two, smoothie bowls. If the foodie section on Instagram discover feeds are any indication, smoothie bowls are quickly becoming one of the most popular breakfast trends in quite a while. Advocates of this trend argue that they're healthy, tasty, and they look awesome on your social media, which is half of the battle for the average millennial, right? The concept is pretty simple. You take all the components that make up your favorite smoothie and put them into a bowl. Hmm, okay, sure, why not? Uh, the best thing about this smoothie trend is that there are so many different ones to choose from. Coconut banana, chocolate hazelnut, strawberry and cream, vegan berry brunch, avocado and kale. I mean, the flavor combinations are almost endless. Who knew? When you transfer a smoothie in a cup and make it into a bowl, it'd be a huge hit. Number one, the crab turkey and octopus hybrid. A crab, a turkey, and an octopus all walk into a bar. Then the chef from the back rounds them up, cooks them up, and serves them up on a platter. Sounds crazy, but the second part is mostly true. Uh, let me see if I can explain this right. Known colloquially as sitherky, I think I'm saying that right, this bizarre dish has inspired by an H.P. Lovecraft short story called The Call of Chithulu, a crazy story of a horrific cosmic entity that was worshipped by some crazy cult. Anyway, this strange story 
gave birth to this interesting dish, which by all accounts is actually quite tasty. This creation is the brainchild of a Texas man named Rusty Yuleberg, who dreamt up this dish for a Christmas dinner with friends. Oh, and just for good measure, he put bacon on top. Because I mean, why not? Here's what's next. A drink with a human toe? That's right, a human toe in your drink. The sour toe cocktail was born from a drunken sailor, obviously. He found a frostbitten toe in a jar of moonshine and concluded that there needed to be a drink with a toe in it. Canadians seemingly can't argue.